you combine a comfort cuisine chef with a pastry chef? What do you get? Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. A lot of delicious yumminess is what you get. We've got two great chefs joining us right now, Chef Anthony and Chef Jenny. Welcome. Hi, Con. How are you? Hey, Con. Well, I'm doing well. It's great having you both with us. But, Anthony, I've got to ask you, what's it like being next to the award-winning rising pastry chef? It's pretty cool. She uh, <laughs> ups my game the whole time as well, so it's great. I love how you use the word upping the game when describing the award-winning rising pastry chef. But Jenny, you have to know it. We love, I mean, pastry chefs are our favorite. Right, that's what I thought. You know, when I first started culinary school, I, I had a moment where I thought I'd go, you know, work on the savory side and work on the hotline. And then I met some cooks and saw the burns on their arms and saw the knives and all that heat and flame. And I was like, hmm. Absolutely not. Pastry chef, that sounds, that sounds great. <laughs> well, Jenny, I'm glad you found pastry as your passion because I know that we're going to love the recipes you share with us in just a moment. But, Anthony, how did you find cooking as your passion? Well, my folks were a huge influence on me. My mom's a great cook. My dad loves good wine, so we always kind of uh, ate out all the time. I lived in, I went to school in San Francisco, lived there for five years, and then moved to New York for another five years. And back to Toronto about five years ago. So I just uh, loved it, I'll, I'll, and I still do. It's, it's great fun. Well, Anthony, of all those cities, how did you decide to make Toronto your home base? I was born and raised in Toronto, and I only left to go to school thinking I would come back to Toronto to open a restaurant. But I fell in love with San Francisco <laughs> and moved to New York. Love New York. I lived in Boston for about six months, and I lived in upstate New York for about a year. And then I needed to settle down, and Toronto is a great city just to kind of relax and raise a family. Well, I'm just curious, Anthony, when did you know growing up in Canada you were not going to become a professional hockey player? Really early <laughs> on. My dad would take me skating, and he's like, eh, I think uh, maybe you should just go skiing instead. I'm like, all right. Funny story indeed. Now, I know the two of you combined to help us make brunch better, right? So we're talking about brunch today and be able to kind of take brunch to the next level by making it simple and kind of having enough different varieties of things to really enjoy yourself as well. So you like to have 5 to 20 people over to be able to make the food ahead of time. That way you can kind of sit back, enjoy your, yourself, and enjoy your company too. I've taken the classic, which I love taking the classic, just doing a little twist on it. So I've got the Cobb salad here. Instead of the chicken or turkey, I'm using a piece of salmon, and then I've covered it in a crust of almonds. And once you toast that, pan fry it, you get like a really nice kind of buttery crust, really good crunch to it, which is fantastic. Put it on some butter lettuce, and I've made over here kind of like a relish. So I've taken the tomatoes, the avocado, and bacon that are always usually on top of the Cobb salad, roasted the tomatoes so the juices are just kind of running out, added some olive oil, some grapefruit juice, and lemon juice to kind of make a beautiful vinaigrette. And then you just kind of take that, spoon it right over everything, and you just got some nice juices that are already flowing there. And then when it comes time to the egg, usually the Cobb salad has a nice hard-cooked egg, but I like the soft-cooked version. So you can kind of just break it open, then you can see all the yolk coming out there. It kind of adds to the overall beautifulness of the dish. You've got the egg yolk combination with the almonds, really kind of brings it up. And it's just a healthier alternative to brunch classics. But wait till you see what Jenny has <laughs> on the sweet side, too, over the top. Yes, so um, what I've made is one of my favorite desserts, uh, a trifle. It's kind of like, you know, layer cake in a cup. Super easy to make um, and super easy to make ahead of time. So again, like Anthony was saying, you have some time at your own brunch party to, to hang out and maybe, you know, enjoy a mimosa. Um, what it is, is it's almond cake, um, and you can make it in a really large trifle bowl, very elegant, really pretty. Um, everyone, all of your guests will wonder how in the world you did it. Um, or you can make little individual servings, um, just some almond cake. It's got some almond flour in it to give it a nice uh, little bit of texture and some good flavor. Drizzle that with amaretto um, to kind of Moisten the cake and also, you know, have a little extra kick. 
wake you up in the morning, right? Um, some toasted almond pastry cream. This is a Best. super <laughs> uh, classic pastry cream recipe. What's a little bit different about it is that it's got toasted almonds infused into the milk and cream before you make the pastry cream. Um, and it's really, really yummy and really brings out a very intense almond flavor. Um, some fresh raspberries to keep it light and kind of refreshing flavored. And then some sliced almonds. And you just go ahead and keep layering away in these little glasses until until they're full and you can enjoy them. Well, each layer looks absolutely delicious, Chef Jenny. I'm just curious, when it comes, I know you do pastry chef, but when it comes to piping, what's the key to it? The key to piping. Okay, that's a really good question. Um, so there are two things. One is, you know, I like to pipe with two hands. So you want to twist the top of the bag so that it doesn't escape out of the other end. And you use one hand to guide the pastry tip and then your other hand to apply pressure. And don't fill the bag too full. If you have a pastry bag that's really full and you're trying to squeeze the contents like pastry cream out of the bag, you're going to have a big mess. But if you, if you two-handedly, you know, one hand to squeeze the bag and the other hand to kind of to guide to guide your pastry tip wherever you want it to go you should be good and practice cool i'm going to try that at home now that i know actually how to do it now chef when you were talking about your salmon dish with the egg how do you prepare the timing of the egg just perfectly the eggs are with this dish fairly simple and you can also heat them up this one's room temperature this is a five minute egg, so what you can do is you get your water boiling, put the eggs in for five minutes, and then put them right into ice water. Let them cool, and then you wanna just take all the shell off. And then if you wanna serve them hot for your brunch, you can just kinda bring the water back up to a boil, gently put the egg back in for like 10, 15 seconds, bring it out, and they're ready to go. Or with something like this, as long as you got some hot toast, or some hot bacon ready to go. The eggs doesn't really don't really need to be hot at all, so it's just uh, perfect like that. <laughs> That's awesome, eh? Now, what's a great resource to follow up on your great brunch ideas? Um, you can go to oh, so yeah, you go, go to www.almondboard.com for these recipes, more about almonds and ourselves as well. Thanks for the resource, you guys rock, and thanks for the recipes. Thanks, Khan. Have a great day. Certainly great to see international relations between the Americans and the Canadians. We love you guys up there. we got a lot of viewers there as well. We'll be right back right here on Get Connected when we come back. Melissa Rycroft, live. So glad you got to check out that clip. But listen, we've got plenty more going on here at Get Connected, our TV show. My friend and I are going to give you a glimpse of all the fun. So take it away. The sun shines bright. As it moves across my face, I feel the light, and everything is in its place. Ooh. I woke up feeling great, Ooh. today was made for me, Ooh. and life is good the way it should, the way it was meant to be. Well, join us and we'll get you in the know. Check us out at GetConnected at ConTV.com and be part of the movement. Yeah.